So in this video we're going to be learning how to let people upload their own profile pictures to our website. We're going to be using an external hosting service for these images called Imager and that's because it's free for non-commercial use and it means we don't need to worry about image hosting or security. So let's get started. Before we get started there's a bug on the index page that we need to fix so let's fix that first. On the index page you can see at the minute the query says where follower ID equals 1 and that's the same no matter who you're logged in as. So that means we're only ever showing posts for the user with the ID of 1. So what we need to do is change that to make it dynamic. So what we want to do is change where follower ID equals 1 to where follower ID equals user ID. And then after our query we need to append on our array of parameters. And here we just depend on user ID. And we get user ID from up here. When the user logs in, we assign their user ID using the isLoggedIn function. So let's refresh and we shouldn't see any difference on the page. You can see everything works the way it should because we were already logged in as the user with the ID of 1. So now that we've fixed that bug, we're ready to start uploading profile pictures. So the first thing we need to do is go to Imager. Here we go to api.imager.com and we're going to be using the Imager API to upload images to our account. So the first thing we need to do is create an application and we click register your application here. So we have to first log in and here what we want to do is register our application. So we want to give it a name, so I'll call it social network. Then we want to click OAuth2 authorization without a callback URL and then we want to scroll down here and put in our email and give it a description. And then here we want to click I'm not a robot and we want to click submit. So it's just given us our client ID and our client secret. And now we're ready to move on to the next stage. So now that we've registered our app with Imager, we need to authorize the app to be able to upload to our account. And if we read this, it tells us that after we authorize ourselves, it gives us an access token and a refresh token. And the access token is valid for one month and the refresh token is valid indefinitely. And we use the refresh token to get a new access token before it expires. So what we need to do after we register our application is authorize our account and we need to use this URL here. So if we copy and paste that and here I've pasted it into the web browser. So we need to go back to the API and it says that we need to give it a response type and a client ID and the state is optional. The client ID we get from here. So we just paste the client ID up here and we need to give it a response type. And our response type is going to be token because we want our access token and our refresh token. So we just type in token and state is optional. So we're going to remove that and now we're going to hit enter. So it wants us to authorize, so we just click allow. And as you can see, what it's done is sent us to the Imager homepage. But along with the homepage, you can see there's some parameters in the URL. So I'm going to copy and paste this URL. And in a new page, I'm just going to paste it here. And in here, we find our access token and we find our refresh token. So now that we have those two tokens, now we can upload images to Imager. So what we'll do is we'll create a new page called My Account. My Account page, we're going to create a form. And then here, we're going to create the form below that. So there's our form, so let's refresh the page and see how it looks. So here's the My Account page and here's where we're going to upload our profile image. So we need to create a new PHP block and we're going to check if the form's been submitted. And if the form has been submitted, we're going to say print underscore r files. And we'll actually change it to when the submit button has been pressed. We'll click upload. And now we can see some details about the file. So now that we know some details about the file, we're going to try and upload it to Imager. So to upload files to Imager, we're going to use the file get contents function in PHP. So we're going to say the response we get from Imager is equal to file get contents. We'll say the image to upload. We'll say Imager URL. We'll say false. And then we'll say context. The Imager URL is the variable of the URL that we're going to upload to. And the context allows us to modify the header files and to modify the body of the post request we're going to send using the file get contents function. So we need to create the context. Context is going to be equal to the return value of a function called stream context create. And then here we're going to say options. And the options that we provide to the stream context create function are the parts of the request we want to modify, such as the headers and the body. So in here we'll say options is going to be an array. And this array is going to have one element and it's going to be called HTTP. And it is going to point to another array. The first item in this array is going to be method. And we're going to set that to post. The next one is going to be headers. So one of the headers we need to send is the authorization header. You can see here it says after you get your access token, you need to send it in each of your requests in the authorization header. So in here we need to set authorization. And then we say bearer. And we pass the token. And that is the token we have here. This is our access token. We pass that here. And because we've passed this token, we'll be authorized. And then we pass a new line. And we also want to pass another header called content type. And we pass application xww form URL encoded. 
if we don't pass that php will just give us it won't give us an error but it'll give us a notice and we want to just hide that so we'll just pass the content type header as well and then after that we want to pass the body of the post request because the body of the post request is where we send the image so we say body and that's going to be equal to our image which is the image we just uploaded and here we'll actually just cut these into this function here because we'll only have the image once it's been uploaded so we need to put it in here okay so now that we've moved them in we need to change that to just header instead of headers it's not supposed to be called headers and we're going to change body to content those are just some typos so now we want to get the image up here what we can do is say image equals files like this so we get the image name from the files array and the uh, item from the array we want to get is the profile image which is this form item here and then we want to get the temporary name that php assigned to the image when it uploaded it and what we want to do then is say file get contents on that to so get the contents of that file and then finally we want to say base 64 encode to encode it as base64. That way we don't have to worry about file types or anything like that because Imager will just take care of all that for us. And if we look at the Imager documentation for endpoints, you can see to upload a new image, we go to this URL, but we can pass it an image as a binary file, base64 or the URL to an image, and it can be up to 10 megabytes. So now that we have the image encoded in base64 and stored in the image variable, we should be ready to go. So if I refresh my uploaded images page, you can see there are no uploaded images. And now I'm gonna upload an image. I'm going to click upload image and we have a small error. It says imager URL not defined. That's because we need to copy the address of the endpoint and here the imager URL is the address of that endpoint. So we want to say imager URL and we pass in that string. I will not print it files variable anymore. So we'll try that again. So we got no errors. If I go to the high code imager page and I refresh now we have one image uploaded so that's it for this video in the next video we're going to be finishing this off we're going to be storing the url to the image in the database so that we can associate it with the user's profile we'll also be putting in a bit of validation on our own side imager already validates it so our images always have to follow their rules but we want to provide our users with feedback if they upload an image that doesn't work when they upload it to imager for example an image that's bigger than 10 megabytes we might want to limit the file types on our site to prevent people uploading gifs or things like that like animated pictures we might only want stills to be uploaded but we're going to do all that in the next video but that's it for this video don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe don't forget to follow us on facebook twitter and reddit and i'll see you next time